How's it going, everyone? The Trout 91 here for a Black Ops 1 commentary. This time, I'm actually doing a little bit more of a game status, community type of commentary in this one. So this game obviously has, has been out for a few weeks now on Xbox One for backwards compatibility. And there's been debate of how it's you know, being received as a new resurgence comes towards it in this day and age of Call of Duty and gaming. So this game was originally released in 2010. It was a simpler time back then. If you think about it, Call of Duty started to rise to prominence mainly in the COD 4 days. Obviously we've got ones before that that really started to pave the way forward for it, but COD 4 is where the game started to really come into its own and be known as that behemoth FPS that we know and love. Well, debating on whether you love it or hate it, that we know today. So, if you think about it, before that we had COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1. So that's like four iterations of Call of Duty where people were just kind of getting into the series itself and learning the tips and tricks. Since then, we've had what? I'd say maybe eight Call of Duty so far since Call of Duty 4 or something like that. Off the top of my head, complete guess. Don't shout at me if that's not the correct number, but the question is, has this game aged like a fine wine or has it aged like Tesco cheese that's been left out of the fridge for too long? But I raise another point to you guys. Is it not just that the general Call of Duty skill level of people has aged well? You think about it. The skill level has drastically improved in this, in Call of Duty in general. And players across the world, it's, it's no longer frowned upon sitting indoors playing games all day, every day. It's considered quite a cool thing to do, a trendy thing to do these days with how well received it is becoming in general. I think with the number of iterations of COD and the players who have been involved for it for a long time are now getting smarter, they're getting older, wiser, their reaction times are improving, the amount of time they've invested in Call of Duty and first person shooters has obviously gone through the roof and that's obviously benefited them skill-wise. You've got to think about the rise to esports and its prominence now, that how well received it is and how accepted esports, not just in general but in Call of Duty, has been taken. So many people what to be like their esports heroes, you know, think of all, all the optic players that people admire and worship. All the tutorials and tips and tricks that people put up, that does come back to bite you. I can think of it in so many different games. FIFA, for example, is a massive, massive game that has found hard times, I guess, in the general skill level, because back in the day, people didn't use to play it as much, didn't really know how to work the game, and with time going on, the amount of practice and tutorials that have been put out there, people have kind of got into it. And quickly enough, the time they've invested and the listening they've done to these tips and tricks have come back to them. So we're no longer playing the Black Ops 1 of 2010. We're playing a completely different game. The skill level has gone up. In this game alone, I had a team of absolute dominant players in it who were shafting this team. I didn't really have to do much. It was just a constant blackbird in the air. So the general skill level of players in this game has risen so much, and I think that's why we're seeing games being quote unquote so much more sweatier than normal. It's because people have learned. They bought their scuff controllers. They bought their fancy headsets. I mean, the amount of people who were sound whoring me on this game because I wasn't wearing ninja. Never used to have that back in the day. Never used to have people jumping when they'd shoot. Well, that's what happens. As the games evolve and time goes on, the players evolve and they get better. I like to think I'm a very good Call of Duty player, especially at a pub level. I used to be a decent enough competitive player. And since I've stopped doing that, I have noticed that my general ability and skill level is not quite at the peak it was when I was playing competitive Call of Duty on the regular basis. But the general skill level of pub players has drastically improved. And I think that's why people are finding it a little bit of struggle at times or finding it so much sweatier. I don't think the lag in the game on the backwards compatible version and the stutteriness and the hackers kind of help, but I think I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you think this game is as good as you remember it back in the day? Or is it the nostalgia that is kind of giving you a false hope and making you think it was better than it actually was? I'll leave it up to you guys. Leave a comment down below. 
I will see you soon. Subscribe for more if you haven't done. Peace out.